Welcome to episode 96 of The Wrestling Burn with your hosts, Parksy and The Zombie. Stuttered there a little bit, 95, 96. I didn't. I knew. <laughs> I knew right away. I asked right yeah, before I know. we started. Come on now. 90, 110. What happens if we get up to like uh, episode 1,736,212 ounces? Then, that's uh, that's in the way future where we start using pounds for timelines. Yeah. <laughs> Three quarters and two nickels and a rock. The year is 14 pints. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a good question. Um, I don't think we'll ever get there. I'll be dead by then. Sorry. You'll have to carry on without the zombie. Oh, man, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can. I can barely carry on with you. Never mind <laughs> without you. I know. It's tough. It's a tough thing. It is. But you'll you'll survive. You'll make I'm, it. I'm looking here, and it's I'm looking at this new NXT prospect class, just trying to find some people like to see who's gonna really shine as a Let's star. Stop. Uh, got some some girl from Lance Storm's camp. Yeah. Uh, another Australian girl, new Emma. Mexican guy. <laughs> we had a question about tag teams the other day. Yes. And who we should be on the lookout for. Who we should be on the lookout for. Or, or um, do we see any good talent coming up? Or who do we think should come up? I really haven't done any research on it, so I really don't know. Um, I mean, I think there's talent there if they use it properly. You know, they kind of focusing on the Usos and... Well... We won't have to and worry about the Lucha these. Libre guys. I know the Lucha Dragons. Lucha Dragons, and I think that's a gimmick that's gonna die quick. I thought it was gonna die in NXT. Yeah. And it's so popular because they're the only tag team that does moves like that. Yeah, they're exciting. They are. They're fun to watch. They are very fun to watch. Um, I'm about two weeks removed from NXT. I'm two weeks behind, so I don't know if they bring up any new tag teams. Uh. I know there's the tag team champs there who I told the person to look out for, Blake and Murphy. I don't know how soon they'll get called up. There's really nothing that exciting about them. I mean, they're heavier guys that do moves off the top rope, like probably 220, I would say, that do some top rope moves. But What about the um, aristocrats or whatever the fuck they're called? The VOD villains? Yeah. I forgot about them. They're fun. They're, I mean... They were on top <clears throat> at one point. They were. Um... I don't know if they'll get called up. I don't know how well that gimmick is going to translate to the WWE. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Um, I don't think it translated too well down there. It did. They were over in NXT, I would say. Their heels, they got booed. They did their jobs down there. Um, honestly, I would say more likely... Oh, before we get started, really get started into this, yep. I would like to apologize for it sounding like constant water running in the last podcast. We have a leak, and the manager hasn't come in and fixed the leak yet, so that's, uh, yeah. I and I, it, it's still doing it a little bit, but not as bad. So you, if you hear the water running, just try and ignore it. Try, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know. And I, I also said fuck a lot in the last podcast. I noticed that. It was, seemed like every other word. Good. I'll try, Good. I'll try to calm down the fuck. I'm just I'm playing with some new acquisitions. Yeah, right I brought now. some wrestling figures into the studio. Oh man, B's gonna be so mad if he saw how much I was doing in the Undertaker right Leg now. Leg drop to the head. I found a yeah. brand new WWE Attitude Era Kurt Angle shirt. Did you get it? Yeah, I did you get it? It's fucking really nice. It's fucking brand new nice. from the Attitude Era, and I found a Kurt Angle figure too. Did you? I didn't see the Kurt Angle figure. Yeah, Maybe I, I did. Found it. Kurt Angle figure. It's a custom Kurt Angle figure. Figure. Custom? Custom. Yeah. I don't know what makes it custom, but it is. I like just to say it's custom because I can, and I will. If you look at his face, he almost looks like Joey Mercury. Does he? Yeah, look at it. He looks like Joey Mercury. Oh, that's true. 
It's the bald head. Look game! Do you know who sung that? No. Drowning Pool. Drowning Pool did a Triple H Drowning song? Drowning Pool did a Triple H song. Man, why did he ever get rid of that? I don't know. That was like... <laughs> like the best song. Until they start singing. It's even better. It's all about the king fall like the rest. Your failure is not success. It's all about control. Will you make it? I will deliver the pain. You can't take it. I'm in control. I am your pain. It's probably because that guy died. The drowning pool guy died? Lead singer of drowning pool was dead, found dead in his bus. Really? <clears throat> yeah. How long ago? Uh, probably about 10 years ago. Well, I don't even remember that. Yeah. No, it was uh, natural causes. Was it? Yeah. That's country laying on our couch. The studio couch. Just, just, just adding to the show. Yeah, just adding to the Make show. A good little egg. <laughs> so, um, I didn't watch Raw this week. I don't know what happened. I know Cena wrestled Bad News Barrett in England. I, from what B said, England didn't really like Cena. Oh, it was yeah. It was uh. Was it a good crowd? Uh, no, it wasn't a great. It wasn't a WrestleMania crowd. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, they were loud. Especially with Cena. They fucking hate Cena. Good. So, and, uh, he fought Bad News Barrett. Yep. Oh, so bad. And the, the night before, um, while we're talking about him, he actually said once his contract is up, Bad News Barrett. He's, he's retired. Yeah, he's retiring. Because <clears throat> of injury. Yep. There's rumors going around that Paige is injured, too, that she got injured in the thing, but I guess it's uh, work. No, it's, yeah, it's a uh, storyline, so be she a, can go shoot a It's going to be a work! Yeah, with The Miz. Yeah! The, a Christmas movie with The Miz. Yeah! Really? Awesome! I actually kind of want to see that uh, Marine movie. Do you? Just because, uh, what's her name's in it? Summer I think Rae. she's going to carry the movie. Summer Rae? Yeah. You think she's going to carry the movie? Yeah, of course. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> Just because... What did, um, did Adam Rose... The vein is bigger than your arms, it is! What? Yeah. What was that? That was, uh... That's a new sound. Your favorite wrestling... Scott Steiner? Your favorite wrestling guy. Scott Steiner. Hold on. You see, a man has to realize his limitations. It is Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner. I added to our board. I thought I heard a Scott Steiner. I thought I heard arms, and I was like, oh, it's Scott Steiner. Because who else talks about their arms? Alright, that one's not working for some reason. Oh, man. Neither is that one. Why is that not working? My board's not working! Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, so well, is it worth me going back and watching this Raw? Did I miss anything that important? Would you like to answer a question right at this particular time? Would you like to do that? <laughs> Why do we not have that all the time now? I have no idea. It's too late to ask a question at this particular time. I don't even know where that came from. I don't know, but it's Macho Man Randy Savage. I've got like three boards going at once here. And Do you? For some reason, that last one came from nowhere. I appreciate it, though. So have you decided, are you going to Super Mega Fest or... Got your ticket right there. What day? Saturday going or Going Saturday. And then you're going to Big Time Wrestling, right? No, I'm not going to Big Time Wrestling. You're not going to Big Time Wrestling? You and Country? No. No Big Time Wrestling trips planned? I actually have to help my fucking sister move, and there's the F-bomb again, that I don't really care to do, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, family comes first, I was told. Even though you've helped that sister move like eight times? Yeah. It should be somebody else helping, not me, but... That's just the way things roll. I'm sorry I pulled y'all's legs. <laughs> In the Shire. <laughs> In the Shire. Wow. Um, so no, not worth me going back and watching. Wrestling? No, it was kind of lame. What's the stipulation for the Seamus Ziggler match that I heard? Seamus Ziggler match? I have no idea. I didn't hear what it was. Oh. I heard 
What Cena's match was called, and I have no idea what it Sheena's is. Cena's match is a Russian chain match. Yeah, what the hell is a Russian chain The last match? Russian chain match was with Nikolai Volkov and Bruno San Martino back in the 70s. What is a Russian chain match? It's, they have this big fucking thick chain, and they just beat the fucking piss out of each other with So if that match isn't bloody, there's something wrong. That match should be bloody than hell. Bloodier than a... What? Bloodier... I don't know what it's going to be bloodier than. I'm still having my match over here with all these wrestling Yeah, you guys. are. Um, so you have heard of it before then. Or did they talk about it? Think before I stick this size 12 so far up your ass, you're going to be flossing with my shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why, why does Scott Steiner not go down as the best talker of all time? He's such an angry man. That's right. And if you tell him that, he'll threaten to kill you to your wife. Yeah. In the airport. Which he really didn't do. But... Oh well. Um, kind of a slow episode. I'm so, I'm really out of it, and I don't know why. You used you brought these wrestling guys over here to to motivate. So me. Daniel Bryant looks like he's gonna be finished real soon too, because uh he's injured. They're pulling him off the he's, European tour. He's back hurt again because yeah, of they, his injury. They're, they're saying probably when his contract's up, he's, he's gonna gone. retire. Did they say how long his contract was? Until? Did not say, but obviously there must be issues if they're pulling him off the European tour. Maybe they want to keep him healthy for the pay-per-view or something. I don't know. Uh, quite possibly, but hes they said he's having really bad issues with his shoulder and everything. The numbness in the arms keeps coming back. and Man, you know, everybody's He good. probably came back too early. He never got the surgery. He went out to fucking do Man, all that. Like uh, a medicine shaman. Yeah, a voodoo witch doctor, Papa Shango type figure. They, they cut a chicken over his body. Uh, bled on him, peed on him. And they were like, you're good now. And they said, you're good to go. And the WWE accepted that. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You know something? What? What do I know, Macho Man Randy? I thought there was more to that. I'm actually disappointed that there wasn't more to that. And let me tell you something. You say you love me like a brother. I think that's about Hulk Hogan. Yeah, that's probably about it for that. Um, that was a good one, yeah. I beat you on that one, man. <laughs> <laughs> we should use that one more often too. Um, uh, looks like Jim Ross is getting back into the WWE. Is he? He's gonna start doing something for the um, WWE Network, something called Ringside with Jim Ross. When did they announce that? Uh, they haven't announced it yet, but uh, th there were talks to do that. The hell is Ringside with Jim Ross? I have no idea. It, it says special, so. Ringside, ringside with Jim Ross specials. What that means? Who the hell knows? Did Michael Cole come back yet? Yes, Michael Cole has returned. How from, come he didn't die? His beat down. Did they say anything about Brock Lesnar and how he beat them up, or no? Not really. They really, just, really wasn't anything. You know. They didn't do a very good job then of playing off these injuries. Was he in like a neck brace or anything? No, nothing. Nothing at all. They said he like decapitated. They're like, Brock Lesnar severed Michael Cole's head from his body. I know. And it's. And none of them came back injured or any of yeah. that crap. It was all. Oh, Brock Lesnar should be fined and punished. Uh, he's a did this and yeah, whatever. And did they announce Orton against Seth Rollins? Uh, yeah, stipulations in both matches. What do you mean? I mean, stipulate, they both got the set stipulations in the uh, their match. Mm -hmm. So, Randy Orton cannot use the RKO. And what can't Seth Rollins do? And uh, Randy Orton made it a cage match. So it's a cage match that Randy Orton cannot use the RKO. Instead of fucking him trying to... Uh, like, he should have said, oh, well, my stipulation is you can't use the curb stomp. No, his stipulation should have been that nobody, any outside interference. Well, that's why he put made a cage. The, yeah, but he should have said any outside interference makes the title change hands. Yeah. There's going to be Even no... If the referee catches it. There's going to be no, um... Oh, you know they're going to get into the ring. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, his... Did I hear... Who's next? 